Hey guys, Steph here, and we're going live on Instagram. We're going to do an uh, Ask Me Anything session. So um, what I'm going to do is I have you guys set up behind. I'm going to have this phone in front on Instagram. So come on over to Instagram if you actually want to join the conversation or ask your question here because I'm going to be um, watching the questions. I have all the devices out, so I have my computer app, my phone, my extra phone. So ask your questions here or come to Instagram and you can actually join the conversation and get um, your face up on my platform, which will get you more visible because that's the name of the game with online marketing. So we're going live on Instagram 3 to 3.30 my time. Um, so we'll set that up and then ask your questions as well. Come on live with me to show who you are and who you help to increase your visibility. All right, here we go. Hey guys, Steph here, and today's video is an Ask Me Anything, a live question, a live question and answer period where I'm actually gonna be bringing health coaches on the show. So come on over to Instagram if you are watching from Facebook. We're going to be having health coaches pop on, ask their questions, as well as explain who they are and who they help, because that's the name of the game. We want to pair up the right practitioner with the right client. So I love helping other health coaches get visible. So that's what we're doing today. Um, come pop on and request to join me. Ask your question in the comments if you're too scared to come live. Um, if you're doing our go live for five challenge, this is a perfect opportunity to come live for the first time with me. It's not scary. We're going to have um, both of our faces and just a quick two minute come live with me to explain who you are, who you help, and if you have a business question to ask that. So I've got a bunch stocked up. If nobody comes live, um, I've got a bunch of questions. So to kick this off until somebody requests to join, I'm going to answer the questions that I have on my last post. So if you're watching the replay, um, post your question on two posts back on my Instagram feed and I'll answer it there, um, as well as on the next Ask Me Anything. And Nicole, if you're ready to join, um, it's just the little button at the bottom, the request to join, if you, if you dare. Okay, so to kick this off, what is the most authentic way to sell something? So Lady Now asked this question. This is Julianne Now. The most authentic way to sell something. My short answer to this is to share your story is the most authentic way to sell something. And that way you're not actually selling, you're just sharing. And people really value that because you're either sharing your story or a client's story. Um, and what, what, that, what happens is people actually identify with the character in the story and it pulls on their heartstrings or they can identify if what you have to offer is in fact what they need. Okay, we have two Nicoles on right now. If either of you guys are ready to come live, if you dare, just at the bottom, you can request to join. Um, I'm going to... Let's see. Super easy too, if you guys want to learn how to go live with somebody, send me a message. Nicole, what's up my friend? Um, so, so many Nicoles are popping up and I love it. It's like, I don't know what's happening with the world. I that too actually, that there's been a lot of Nicoles following you. Isn't that crazy? I love yeah. it. It's a good name. Nicole, so what's happening here? We're doing who you are and who you help and then if you have a business question. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, lots of business questions all the time. So my name is Nicole Marchand, owner of Eat Well Halifax. I am a registered dietitian and I focus on digestive care and a little bit of mindful eating. So I put them together over time, uh, digestive health and mindful eating, because they definitely go hand in hand. So I actually run programs for the most part. Mm -hmm. uh, so I have a 12 weeks to optimized health program. I see clients with IBS, general bloating. Uh, I see clients who uh, are looking to reduce sugar cravings. Who um, I see a lot of clients who overeat. Mm -hmm. uh, so binge eating is a big thing that I'm discovering, all again related to digestive health. 
Uh, mostly pain, bloating, things like that. So I definitely kind of stuck to that whole IBS symptom um, spectrum, if you will. Yeah, and that's really easy for the client to identify if that's what they need help with, right? Yeah, well, I mean, exactly. So if you have heartburn, if you have indigestion, if you have bloating, those are really, those are real symptoms. And they are life modifying. They can cause a lot of problems. So yeah, if somebody has symptoms, you're going to know it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, yeah, exactly. So they, they either do or do not need my help, but I do find a lot of people, um, you know, the sugar cravings are huge, whether or not you have symptoms like bloating or stomach pain. Uh, sugar cravings are part of digestive health and mindful eating as well, as, as you know. So, mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. So before your question, if people want to get to know you more, where do they go? So I'm on Facebook. Ewell Halifax is my name. I have a private group as well called Rest and Digest, a secret to eating more and craving less. Uh, within that group, I do tons of recipes and nutrition tips. Uh, a few days ago, I made sauerkraut by video. Yesterday, I made uh, overnight rolled oat by video. I've done bean dip last week. Uh, constant videos and nutrition tips. Uh, I love cooking and you see it in my videos. Yep. So my public Facebook group, group, you see that a lot in my private group. And then I'm also on Instagram at Ewell Halifax. You'll see as well that I love to dine out and I love to eat seasonally and locally. So all that stuff uh, is very public. And uh, that's, I, I practice what I preach. There's no doubt about that. So that's where you'll find me most of the time. And my website's eatwellhalifax.com. Awesome. And so when you, we, when you sign off after your question, just type it in the comments. Um, so people know where to find you. Um, yeah, okay. No problem at all. Okay. Question or are you, you all full? Yeah, I, I definitely have like so many, um, I follow you a lot, and every time I see something, I'm like, oh, my God, that's so, that's really important to know. Um, I think that a lot of my questions right now are coming back to the new uh, Facebook algorithms because I really do depend heavily on Facebook uh, to get my videos out because most of my work is done by videos, most of my uh, marketing. So uh, just making sure that I'm reaching the numbers, making sure as well um, – not only am I reaching numbers, but that I'm able to tunnel people maybe into my groups and then into my programs uh, because of the new scene and the big drop in uh, the number of people seeing my videos. So I think my question would be how to make sure that you're, you're getting a constant stream of people seeing your stuff or what's the best way to go about making sure that uh, potential clients are able to uh, reach my work, really. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, yes, Facebook's always changing. Um, yeah. And there's two ways to reach people. You pay or you do authentic organic marketing. And exactly. you can do yep. both. But uh, my favorite is the organic marketing. So the yeah. easiest way right now is actually to get on other people's platforms like you're doing right now. Because okay. all of my people are now exposed to you. Um, so this yeah. is Instagram. We can do this exact thing on Facebook. And getting um, sharing really good stuff. And making your message so clear that people know exactly why they're joining your groups and that you're congruent with actually providing the information, the specific information. So, um, yeah. yeah. And I think it is coming back to full circle. The guy who owns Facebook and Instagram, he wants people to be social and to enjoy their time on the platform. So if you can provide yeah. entertainment, education to keep people there, then you're going to do a okay. great job and, um, getting people to share your stuff and get on other people's yeah. podcasts and platforms is awesome. Yeah. 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 So keeping it, um, sort of light and entertaining. Um, yeah, that's a really good, uh, answer as well, especially just because most of my, the stuff that I do is meant to be social like that. Like it's very informal. Yeah. Uh, so I, like to see those numbers sort of climbing back up so yeah the, that's a really good answer for sure and then yeah going on to other people's platforms as well so yeah sweet yeah. so if anyone wants to go live with nicole um she's gonna write in the comments after she gets yeah. off here her brand or her name and her business and the whole point of this is supporting each other in my group work smarter yeah. not harder as well as my channel so let's support each other and um okay. we'll get the next question. This is fun. Okay, okay thanks bye. for coming on, Nicole. I, Thank I, you, Stephanie. Okay. Bye. Bye.
All right, who's up next? I know another Nicole wants to come on. So many Nicoles in my world. What does this mean? Um, and ask your questions in the comments, guys. We'll get to all of them before the end of the show for sure. Hello. I'm Hi. not joking. There's been probably 12 Nicoles show up in my life in the past like three weeks. It's it's pretty cool. Do you know That's off the top of your hand, head what, what your name means? Like what is going on? I don't know. I feel like my generation, there seem to be a lot of Nicoles. Like my mom told me when she chose it that uh, she chose it because it was unique. But then every year in school like there was at least two or three Nicoles in my classes and I had two best friends growing up that were named Nicole so I don't know you don't hear it as much now in the younger generation though like in the in my children like you know my mom friends I don't know any young Nicoles so yeah. it's interesting how that works right I guess like <laughs> attracts like so <laughs> yeah. Nicole I'm going to ask you who you are, who you help, as well as if you have a business question, awesome. And then when you jump off, make sure to type in the comments um, your business pages and how people can find you. Okay. okay. Awesome. Okay. Over to well, you. My name is Nicole. <laughs> and um, I am a wellness coach who focuses on families, in particular other moms with kids. Um, my goal is to help. Um, families become healthier through a vegan diet. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm currently in the process of launching my first e-program, which is this uh, amazing, huge labor of love that I've been working on for off and on for like the last year. So I'm really, really excited about it. And basically it just um, helps ease uh, the transition into a plant-based lifestyle when you have kids. Mm. So, um, you know, it's full of, Amazing content, of course, videos and audio and workbooks and just tips and tricks and um, inspirational videos and just kind of um, helps that that transition. Because when I was, I was really, really sick in my 20s and doctors couldn't help me and I finally started to do my own research and that led me to a gluten-free vegan lifestyle and I transitioned but I was alone I mean I had my husband but we were living in a really isolated area in Oregon we were like surrounded by cattle ranches and nobody really could understand what I was trying to do mm. and so I was really overwhelmed and alone and I was um it made it really difficult to make that transition because I had no other nobody to go to or to ask questions so mm. for me when I got better and you know, I feel amazing. I feel better than I felt like even in my teens and twenties, I became at my passion and I went back to school and now I want to like, you know, shout from the rooftops. I think mm -hmm. all of us that are in the wellness industry, like want to just broadcast how amazing it is to heal yourself. Um, and so you know, I want to help. And in particular, I have two young boys now. I went through two um, almost vegan pregnancies and had beautiful home births and Mm. I'm still breastfeeding my toddler who's three mm. and um I just think it's so important to teach our children how to eat well and take care of themselves because you know the world we live in like they're the next upcoming generation and so it's important that they are thriving and vibrant and healthy so mm. that's kind of why I niched down to that specific group because I was just really passionate about kids health and mom's health and you know, as a mom, you want to be able to uh, function during the day and not have to rely on coffee and have adrenal fatigue and, like, be exhausted because mm -hmm. you want to be able to be present with your children and play with them and have the energy to do that. So, mm -hmm. Amazing. Yeah. And something that I love about online programs is you can help, as the health coach, you can help so many more people because you're not um, trading your time for money. So um, right. when, when your, pro your program is already launched, so when people are a part of it, I know a big part of transitioning into plant-based or anything nutrition related is having access to the coach. So when they sign up for your program, is there a group, is there um, a group or something where they can ask questions? Yes. There is an exclusive private group that comes along with joining the program and okay. you get live Q and A's with me 
And I'm there a couple times a week or probably daily checking in, you know, with everybody, seeing if they need help, if they have any questions. So, yeah, there's there's kind of constant access to me through the group. And then, of course, the group is also supposed to provide kind of a support of you know, other like-minded moms who are going through the same same transition. Perfect, because that's one thing that I noticed with my health business in the past, as well as working with coaches, is sometimes we do online programs and we put them up and then we don't offer that support, which is often why people sign up. So I love to hear that you have that that support within it, even though it's a program that you can scale up and offer to the masses, you still have that personal touch. So that's that's great. Because mm-hmm. that's the biggest thing that I needed when I was transitioning was another human mm-hmm. to help, you know, um, to, to be there for me, hold me accountable and like, you know, ask, answer any questions that I yeah. have. Awesome. Okay. So yeah. if you have a question live, that's great. If not, when you sign off, make sure to type in the comments where people can find more of you as well. Um, what you're currently offering. Okay. Okay. So do you have well, a business question? I- no pressure. No, I feel like I have lots of questions. It's always, um, I guess for me, I'm still trying to kind of, this is my initial launch or my beta launch or however you want to call it. And so for me, um, I don't know if it's a question I can ask on here, but I'm just trying to figure out the title, if it's the right title, if it gets the point across. And originally, um, I have it titled, um, healthy vegan or um healthy vibrant families but I feel like that's kind of vague and it's not telling the story about what the client's actually getting out of the program which is to help help with transitioning to a vegan diet with your family so yeah kind of in with that like yeah so for uh, sure you just answered your own question they need to know exactly so um, seam- yeah. seamlessly, seamlessly transition into a vegan diet or increase your energy by going vegan, like something with it, their trans, their transformation is actually in the title. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I'm going to work on that today. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. So thank you for coming on. And then in the comments type, um, where people can find you as well. Um, what your current t- offer is. I will do that. Thank you very much for having me on. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Bye. Okay. What do we got for questions? Is anyone brave enough to come live with me? Who else wants to go live? Another Nicole. Let's do this. All the way from Guatemala. Health coach Nicole. Here she comes. If you guys have questions, you can put them in my feed on this post here or just type them in the comments. Business questions, life questions. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Nicole, what's up? Third Nicole in a row. Hi. This is awesome. Hi, I'm in my phone here and I'm sorry if I'm like moving it all around. No, I, it's I'm not perfect. in front of my computer, so, but I wanted to join you. And I think that Instagram only lets you join live on your phone anyway, so it's meant to be. (laughs) Okay, great. (laughs) So what we're doing here is we're doing who you are, who you help, and of course a business question if you have one. If you don't have one, no worries. Okay. Um, My name is Nicole Hollander, and I'm a health coach and a personal trainer, and I live in Guatemala, all the way in Guatemala. And... um, I was certified last year, so I'm just like beginning my my business. And um, well, I was I'm grateful that I found uh, Stephanie along the way because I have like so many ideas, and um, you have helped me clarify that. So um, right now, I'm working on my web page and my signature program. And I help women uh, who are between the ages of 35 and uh, 55 years. And I help them get fit and healthy. And I use my story as an example. And, of course, everything, all the research I have done and everything I have learned in my certifications. So that's where I am right now. (laughs) Amazing. And you just did a post um, with your transformation photos. So 
I know I was talking to a coach earlier at our meetup and she was so nervous to share her story. So share with us a little bit what that was like to put your story out there and share that with your following. Yeah, it was scary. It was scary uh, to put up not only the post, um, the pictures of who I was. I have like worse pictures, which I'm actually going to share in my uh, web page. But um, I had like so such a good um, return from my followers. It, it was impressive. I mean, people just like felt their heart out and started writing to me and asking about the program and how I did it and, you know, and it was amazing. I mean, like all, all, all that fear I felt just like went away when I started to see that I really could help people. So it was amazing. It was amazing posting that. Ah, oh, that's awesome. And that positive reinforcement will just help with the, with more posts and more because our job is to help people. Right. So that's what happened exactly. when you posted something and it is, um, it's hard to be vulnerable, but it really is. People can identify with stories and with truth. Um, so that's amazing. Um, okay. So yeah, do you... and, and, and that's what I, I see, um, you know, with, with now that I've had this experience, people appreciate your honesty. Mm. I mean, people don't want to see like great bodies and your perfect posing and they want to see the truth behind because I mean, we all, we don't look perfect all the time and, and that's what people appreciate. You know, mm. when you show your real heart, your real story, what you're selling, what you can offer them and they really, really are looking for that. Yeah. And that transformation is some people are nervous to put it or they think maybe, you know, I don't want to be that health coach that does the transformations, but really what you're doing is you're allowing your client to identify and see something tangible because a lot of the time our clients have a hard time knowing if what we have to offer is right for them. So, um, getting yeah. so clear and making, you know, the title so clear, um, really helps. Um, do you yeah. have any specific business questions or do I answer well, them all? <laughs> like health coach question like yeah. what do you do when people come to you with like all this old school advice i i you know i had that those questions yesterday you know being asked like oh my my nutritionist told me that i can eat granola uh every day and it's okay and you know what how do you deal with that you know they're not being like putting down nutritionists because we are not doctors we're just like health coaches but mm -hmm. how do you deal with that um Basically, stand firm in what you believe in your process and try I, yeah, try not to argue with, with people or really get into a tiff, but just smile and nod. And if they're going to be a client, um, you can offer them something because it really is. It's just our job is to educate, right? So it's nobody's right or wrong and you have your system. So I would just kind of thank them. Thanks for sharing that. Here's kind of my free group or here's my free ebook if you're interested, but don't put too much energy into it because at the end of the day, you want to be spending your precious energy with your potential clients or with, with your people who see eye to eye and are in alignment with what you have. So, um, yeah, I wouldn't even think twice about it. I would, if you can kind of show them your free offer and kind of funnel them that way. And then when they're ready to maybe work with you, they, they've sorted it out on their own. But yeah, I wouldn't spend any energy on it. I wouldn't go back and forth who's right, who's wrong. That's all kind of a waste of waste of your precious energy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Stephanie. No problem. Okay. So in the comments, let everybody know where they can find more of you and um, specifically your program that's launching. You can put that in the comments too. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you for having me. Nice to see you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, who else wants to join? Na, 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 na. Okay, so let's address some of these questions that people were asking. And if you want to join, just um, request on the bottom. I'm going to see if Kaylin wants to join. Okay. What do we got? How to set boundaries with Instagram to avoid overwhelm and wanting to delete it. I had somebody message me saying, help, I want to delete my Instagram. It's overwhelming. Don't delete it. Just take a break. 
And um, it's really important to, as an online coach or if you um, run your business online to have proper boundaries. So um, that is before you get really busy, you can set up your boundaries ahead of time. And one of my personal boundaries is I, I do my morning routine before I look at my phone and I turn off my phone at 8 p.m. So I have a solid hour and a half, two hours for evening routine because what you do first thing in the morning and what you do in the evening is very important. Um, basically what you do before bed, you're basking in that all night. So you don't want to be scrolling on Instagram and basking in everybody else's lives subconsciously while you're sleeping. Um, as well, having your system set up is perfect because no longer are these messages on Instagram annoying, but they're actually a contact that you can potentially help through your free offers. And then they might actually turn into a customer. So I know exactly how you feel. I used to be so overwhelmed when I was working as a dietitian and people always wanted free information. But now when people ask me questions, I'm like, yes, come into my free groups. And the key with the free offer is it has to be no extra work for you because um, when people are coming at you, you have to be able to help them without draining yourself. So this could be a free ebook, a free Facebook group. Um, and what that does is it gives them some information and they get to like, know, trust you, see if they like your vibe, and then they can move forward with you um, once it's kind of, we, it's um, sifted through if they could potentially be a client of yours. Anybody else brave enough to join me? Okay. Mm -hmm. What else we got? Inner Beauty Movement. Beautiful Selene asks, My question is, how do you help others succeed without burning yourself out? Systems, systems, systems. So having systems in place that you can help the masses without burning yourself out. So like I just mentioned, this is eBooks, this is groups, this is free offers so that people can get some of your vibe or some of your stuff without you spending a ton of um, time. And then it kind of, um, it, what's the word? It sifts through them so that your processes and systems are basically shaking out the people who wouldn't be a good fit. And by the end of it, you have a select group of people that maybe you want to jump on a clarity call with. And it's worth it because they're, they already fit the guidelines of your potential client. So backing it up, you actually have to figure out your potential client first, which is niching down and figuring out if you were going to teach on a specific topic for 30 minutes, what would it be? And we're no longer health coaches. We're lo no longer yoga teachers or dietitians. We are specifically one thing. So, um, I just got a referral and I got on the phone with her and I said, okay, like, what can I help you with? And she said, well, so-and-so said you help health coaches make money in their sleep. And I said, yes, why, yes, I do. So my messaging is getting out there. So you want to be known for something specific. Or I've heard another one, I've heard you help coaches quit their day jobs. So this is me just um, branding with specific taglines. And all of that means in the health coaching world is you help people solve a specific problem. So then it's really easy for them to know if it's the right program for them or not. Um, so that would be one way to help to avoid burnout would be to set up systems so that when you have people messaging you or asking for free advice, you're no longer frustrated or resentful. You actually have somewhere to funnel them or offer them a free group, a free weight loss group. And then it's no extra work for you. That's the key. So you, in that free weight loss group, you have a free ebook or some videos stockpiled so that they can consume the content when they're super eager. And then when they're ready to work with you, if and when they're ready, then you have them warmed up. Um, what else to avoid burnout? Uh, this could be one of my favorite topics. So that morning and evening routine hands down is one of the best things I've done for my business because it allows me to fill up in the morning. So, um, the worst thing you can do is look at your phone first thing and start reacting. Um, as well as before bed, the worst thing is scroll, scroll, scroll. And then all of a sudden you're dreaming about your clients or you're waking up in the middle of the night. So have boundaries. And then if you're a coach and you um, offer email support or support in groups, you want to have it very clear at the beginning that you respond within 48 hours so that your clients aren't, um, you're basically educating their expectations. They're not concerned and worried 
um, that you didn't get it or that um, they don't expect you to respond right away if you've set that out. And then when you respond less than 48 hours, they're super stoked. All right, guys, that was amazing. Thanks for joining. I love these episodes, so I'm going to do them again. Um, write in the comments if you have a specific question and I'll get to it next time. Or if you want to come live with me, maybe you want to go live for the first time. I have a free go live for five challenge because I know what it's like. My business coach years ago, she is an intuitive coach as well. She said, Steph, I think live video is going to be your thing. And I said, no way. I'm not going live, I'm not doing videos. I'm going to stick behind my computer and do newsletters. So that's what I was saying to my business coach. And fast forward to today, and it's pretty much all I do. So video is scary, yes, but I can help you go live for the first time. It's a free challenge I offer in my group, Work Smarter, Not Harder. So come on over on Facebook. All the links are in my bio link. If you can't find anything, send me a message. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Oh, I also have a mastermind going on right now. So. Um, it starts March 25th and it runs four Sundays in a row. I'm taking five coaches for a mastermind group, super affordable. It's 197 and we go through the four step process that I teach my one-on-one -on -one coaches, um, four step process, four step process to grow your business online and effortlessly att attract your ideal client. Effortlessly. All right guys. Cause I know that's a big problem as we are so amazing at transforming lives as health coaches, but we don't have the clients. So that's what we're going to do in the mastermind. Four weeks, four Sundays. Let's do this. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time.